Hello, class, and welcome back to Viva Barca Plus, where we are going to be discussing on the crucial game against Atletico Madrid on Sunday, a game that I, I think will be one of the deciders of the season for FC Barcelona. Talking about our top four hopes going to the Champions League, we are currently fourth, one point behind Atletico Madrid, and it makes it very important for us to win the game and become third. So we are going to be discussing on three talking points ahead of that crucial encounter against Atletico Madrid in the Camp Nou on Sunday. So as we get right into it, I want to ask you to please endeavor to subscribe to the channel. If you haven't subscribed, turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. When this season began, honestly speaking, one did not know what to expect from Barcelona. The team got off to a poor start under then manager Ronald Koeman, you know, hovering two places off the relegation zone at one point. So as the season progressed, honestly, I think the team's flaws became glaringly clear and one feared that, you know, we might even miss out on the Champions League football next season. At this point, finishing in top four is our priority, our top priority. As we all know, so we currently sit fit as it stands, just a point behind Atletico Madrid, of whom we are going to play with on Sunday. Of course, it will be a very, very um, important game for us, as I earlier said, and very difficult. It will be a tricky game, even though, you know, Atletico Madrid is not having the best of form, but there is no way we can underestimate them because, of course, Barca too is not in, in the greatest form this season, despite that things are improving, we know. So we are going to be looking at three talking points ahead of that mouth watering clash. The first and of course the most obvious is the new signing Scalo. Of course that game is a perfect opportunity to see what our new signing, some of them, what they can, you know, they can bring to the table for FC Barcelona. Of course with the first game we know you can't judge a player that easily, especially coming to a new club. You know, the environment is still new. So the winter transfer window was an eventful one for our team. Torres, Alves, you know, relatively new to the to the setup, though both have impressed with their appearances so far. Somebody like Danny Alves, I think, has been magnificent with his distribution down the right flank. Though we can see H has caught up with his defensive game. Torres, on the other hand, has already notched up a goal and an assist for Barcelona. Then, talking about Adama Traore, who arrived from Wolves on a six-month loan to strengthen the um, Javis options on the wing. You know, the agile forward is expected to start against Atletico Madrid, with his dribbling being an asset the manager values highly. Then, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang is the latest to join Barcelona after a hectic move on deadline day. Though he is registered with the league and can face um, Atletico Madrid, the striker is not expected to start given his long hiatus from competitive game. So in my opinion, I think the four new additions are expected to be the X-Factor that turn around Barcelona season. You know, that mission starts on Sunday. There's no time to waste. It starts on Sunday. Let's see how the new signings perform for the game against um, Atletico. A game which definitely, I think, could prove decisive on multiple fronts. Then now talking about the second talking point, you know, ahead of that game, I think it's a depleted opposition, our opposition. You know, a solid start to La Liga this season, featuring a seven undefeated run, plays Atletico Madrid in the driving seat to compete for the league title once again. Since then, you know, things have gone downhill for Simeone, the boss of um, Atletico Madrid. Of course, Atletico Madrid have lost five of the last nine games, conceding at least two goals in every defeat. Though the last league game against Valencia ended in a 3-2 win, it is worth noting that Atletico Madrid were 2-1 down even in the 89th minute. You know, we saw the magic that they came and did. You know, which break our hearts, all the Barca fans that night. So in the Spanish Super Cup, they were beaten by Athletic Club by a score 2-1, which was followed by a 2-0 hammering by Real Sociedad in the Copa del Rey. So they are alive in two competitions as it stands, including the league. However, the Champions League pits them against Manchester United, who are finding their feet under new management. Heading into the clash at the Camp Nou, it would you know, not be far-fetched to say that Atleti 
are in inadequate mental space to be honest with just three wins in six over the past month they no longer bear the favorite tag they had a few months ago moreover the poor form of their goalkeeper Jan Oblak is a significant concern for the visitors on the night one could expect a motivated Barcelona to take down their opponents very well let's hope for the best then the third talking point is a game characterized by spells of brilliance that is what we are hoping to see and that is what it is likely to be you know why barcelona have you know tried to exert their dominance over proceedings in recent games their troubles of breaking down a defensive wall have persisted it's very clear despite boasting a mama possession percentage the actual output in terms of chances created has been so minimal in fact, most of Barcelona's goals, if we have been taking note in recent games, have come from moments of individual brilliance or rare spells of flawless play amidst a dragged game. And of course, Atletico are a side who, by their philosophy, as we know, they believe in maximizing moments of magic. Why the side does not hesitate to stand in a low defensive block, their leather counter attacks often offer the final blow. As seen in their game against Valencia, one cannot write them off, even in the penultimate minute of the game. So, when the two sides meet at the Camp Nou come Sunday, um, it will be a very, very interesting game, interesting mix of styles. The game will feature spells of spirited play from both teams, with both sides getting ample chances to score. You know, the defensive factor will be the efficiency of the forward lines and the form of the goalkeepers so with javi facing probably the biggest game of his managerial career yet it remains to be seen if javi can land on his feet so all we can do is just wait hope for the best for the team hope we win not just winning but win convincingly atletico is not in the best form neither are we but i personally think we are better than them javi have the right to set up the team in a way that they can beat Atletico. Atletico is having problems. They are having problems. It's very clear to see. And I think Barca must maximize this opportunity because if they don't do that, it will be a big, big disappointment because we need to go top four this season and make the Champions League. It shouldn't be something that we struggle. We need to qualify for the Champions League. And of course, going to the third place, hopefully if we win, it will be a great thing to see. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. So please don't forget to leave your thoughts down on the comment section below. I will appreciate it so much. And very importantly, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure to subscribe and turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Until next time, it's bye for now.